please meet this adorable sea creature called spotted sea hare or Aplasia dactylomella. This large sea slug can be found everywhere thanks to its cosmopolitan distribution all over the world, being found in almost all tropical and warm temperate seas, including the Mediterranean Sea. They're really common, and unfortunately, most people don't know exactly what they are. For example, this one was found in front of an expensive resort. They live in seagrass beds, rock pools, and other intertidal environments where there is a decent amount of algae. Aplasia dactylomella belongs to the class Gastropoda and looks like blobs of jelly, lacking any distinguishable shell or limbs, but they do have an internalized shell similar to cuttlefish. And sometimes when they're really scared, they retract their mantle completely and you can see the white shell. Sea hares have next to no predators thanks to their toxic slime and incredible camouflage capabilities. Should we pick up or touch these gastropods if we find one on the beach or catch one while swimming or snorkeling? It is very common to see them on the beach being thrown out by huge waves, laying, and ultimately dying. In spite the fact that sea hares can swim, they cannot swim against the current and they sometimes end up on the beach. And it's fine for people to pick them up and return them to the sea, but we should avoid rubbing our eyes or touching our mouth afterwards, and we should also wash our hands, even if it's only with the seawater. The reason for this is the toxic dye and the slime that some sea hares secrete as a result of ingesting toxic algae. The dye is usually purple and released when the gastropods feel threatened, and this dye works as a smoke screen, enabling them to escape from predators. Sea hair dye and slime can accumulate dangerous toxins known as aplysiovilin. Apparently this toxin molecule cannot pass through our skin barrier and if you don't have any cuts or wounds on your hands then it is safe to touch them. Their toxicity is highly variable and it depends on what the individual hair eats. For example in China and Hawaii and other region people actually eat these sea hairs. One sea hair on the beach can be completely toxic, while another one may not be toxic at all. However, there are some reports from Australia of dogs being poisoned by these sea hairs. If you have your pet with you on the beach, you should make sure you watch them and ensure that they don't eat or lick or pick up these sea hairs with their mouth. A plesiovilin can cause strong spasms and ultimately death. So it is advisable to beachgoers to stop your dogs and your small children from touching these creatures. However, there is no reason for people to panic as for the most part, they are pretty harmless. Knowledge gives us courage. So now we're aware. So what do we do if we find a live sea hare on the beach? We can take the poor creature back into the sea and release it into the calm, not wavy water and make sure to wash your hands. If we see one in the water, swimming or feeding, then you can film it, swim with it and leave it be. The sea hare plays an important role in maintaining its habitat through the consumption of algae. And by feeding on algae, dangerous overgrowth is minimized and toxins released by algal blooms are then reduced. Sea hares do important cleaning work in the sea, the same as your apple snails do in your aquarium. So it's better we keep them.